In this video I want to share with you what I know about Marquee Tool, how I can use it to edit your arrangement, and some of the hidden settings that can make it more accessible. Think of the Marquee Tool as a highlighter that is used to select part of a region or a track. You can find it in your toolbox by pressing T key and selecting it from the list, or simply press T and R to quickly change your pointer to Marquee Tool. You will notice that your pointer looks like a cross now, unless you highlight part of a region or even empty space on the track. Another way to access it would be changing your secondary tool, which is activated by holding command key. Before I explain what you can do with it, let's look at other ways of activating it. You will need to go to Preferences, General, then Editing window, where you can assign right-click to a third tool instead of a shortcut menu, which can be accessed by clicking and holding Ctrl key anyway. While we are here, let's activate Marquee Tool Click Zones. I'll talk about it as well in a minute. Now I can use my right-click to make a marquee selection, which is easier in my opinion. And I can assign the secondary tool to, let's say, a razor, so holding command key in this example would allow me to erase any region. Let's get back to marquee tool click zones that I mentioned earlier. Here in editor, if I pass the middle of the region, my pointer will automatically switch to marquee tool. It's great if you work in the editor a lot and works in the main window as well, but it becomes a bit difficult if you work with lots of tracks when crossing the middle line can be unnoticed. You should decide if that works for you, but I personally prefer to switch between tools instead of pointing at the correct half of the region. Now I can talk about what you can actually use it for. If you select part of a region or a phrase from your vocal sample and then click on it, selection will be separated from the region. This is useful if you want to rearrange parts to keep the main region intact while creating a copy. Just hold Option key and move the selection away. If you press Command and backslash key, selection will be trimmed. When you click on the region with Marquee Tool and use arrows, starting point will jump to the next or previous transient, or the loudest part in other words. Even if I stretch the region, you can see that Marquee Zone is detecting transient, even though it's not synced to the grid. Now if you hold Shift key and use arrows, selection will stop at the next transient. Command U will loop Marquee Zone, or use Shift Space to start playback from highlighted part. Transient detection works on MIDI regions too. This is useful if you want to copy a few chords to try new progression. If you want to copy a region multiple times, looping it won't always work, especially with single drum samples. You could drag it and try to place it on the grid, but I prefer using Marquee Tool in such cases, because selection itself snaps to the grid, so copying region with precision is quite easy. Last useful feature I want to mention is that you can enable Marquee Ruler, which indicates position of highlighted zone, and can be moved around. This is especially handy when you want to activate Auto Punch, and re-record phrase in your vocals or instrument solo. And that's all I have today. Subscribe for more videos and if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Until next time.